Hey guys, so this video I'm gonna call Shapes for Lazy People. And so, so really you can make any kind of shape that you want for the most part in the edit page and you won't have to dig into the fusion page. I'm gonna show you the trick on how to do that. Obviously you can make any shape you want in the fusion page, but for those folks out there that just wanna see the edit page and don't wanna dig into the fusion page, this video is for you if you need to make some shapes for your videos. I'll jump right in. And I'm gonna start with the most basic shape that you can make. Probably everybody has figured this one out. I'm gonna change the color. All it is is a solid color. You can find it under generators. Let's change this to like a blue. So I have a big blue block, but you can change it by cropping it. You can make it any size you want. Make it square, you can make it rectangle, and you can even move it around and animate it. So I can move this around. I can animate those key points and there you go. You got a block or a box, whatever you want to call it. You can even make it zoom in and out. So that's the simple one. Delete that. So the next shape, jump right back to put a solid color on there and I'll stretch that out a little bit. I'm going to leave it black. Jump up here to video transitions. Let's try a triangle. Stretch it out. And so we have a white border here. Let's go ahead and make this smaller. So you can either make it a whole shape by making this border larger. So that's a filled in shape. If you wanna just do the outline of it, set it the way you want it. We wanna leave this color white and I'm gonna select the main clip and select holding down the control key in a Windows, command key on a Mac, select the actual transition as well. And I'm sorry, right click on the bottom one. You're gonna get new compound clip, call it triangle, create. So I still have that animation in there. It's all in one unit though. And so find kind of the size that you want, move it around till it's the size you want it. Right click on the clip and say change clip speed, select freeze frame. So that part of the clip that is froze, go ahead and delete the rest of that, spread that out. So now we have just this triangle and I'll move that up, put something interesting on the background here. Okay, so we're not seeing it yet because this piece on top is blocking it. Select that clip and change the composite mode to add. And now you can see your shape there. And again, we can do the animation here, move it around, up and down. But I think it's better if you go to filters, go to search bar here and start typing trans and you're gonna get the transform. Drop that on the clip and then you'll have this effect up here. And then the position can be animated, the Y can be animated by using these keyframes across the timeline. You can zoom it here, rotate it, you have more control over the animations. You can flip this thing. Some of the cool things, you have a pitch and you have a yaw. And then we'll jump up here. My open effects is on, yes it is. So interactive canvas. So what you do is say here, I wanna start here. Go ahead and hit canvas keyframe, move it, oops. I gotta move my timeline, move it up here. And then if you play that, it'll animate. That's just an easy way to grab it, move it around. I'll reset that. The last one is the interactive pins, which is really nice. You just put some pins on here and then you can do some rotation with the shape, things like that. So I can go here, put it here, let's say that. And then if I animate this, keyframe animate, something like that, you're gonna get that animation of those points. So you get the idea. So that's my shape. There's some options or tips for you for doing the animation. Uh, we can do this with a whole bunch of different things because it's really cool because there are so many things that are built into DaVinci Resolve. So it's just a matter of grabbing that solid to start you want to keep it black video transitions there's some really good ones in here 
stars, there's hearts. Hearts is a good one. That's really hard to draw. I don't know if there is a heart in the fusion page, so this might be the only place you can do that. See, it's a transition, remember? So grab it, stretch it out, make sure you change this border and keep that white. And you can do that edge or you can do a full shape. I'm gonna do an edge, something like that. And then select both using the control or command button. Select the transition part and the full clip. Right click on the bottom portion, new clip or new compound clip, heart. Learn to spell, would be nice. Create. So now I have that shape, pick the size that you want, right click again and say, change clip speed, freeze frame, delete that part, move that part, change this to add. Really easy, so you can create some pretty complex shapes right in the edit page without jumping to the super complex fusion page. That's how it's done. I actually use this sometimes because it's just really fast and easy to do. If you got any questions on this simple process, go ahead and post them in the comments below. Take care, everybody.